This is the hollow head. Actually, at the moment, it's a perfectly normal head of Charlie Chaplin, but wait, as it comes round, you'll see, or will you, that it's hollow. The back of it, coming round now, is actually a hollow mask. It appears to rotate in the opposite direction, and amazingly, the nose sticks out, although it's actually sticking in. Coming round now is the normal, correct, as it were, face, and wait again as it comes round, and you'll see this extraordinary thing like Jekyll and Hyde. Both the noses stick out because it's so unlikely that a nose sticks in that a face is hollow. So you see it as convex, although it's in fact concave as now, and then it'll become the normal face again there. And note that as soon as the features appear in the hollow inside, it will look convex as though it's a normal face almost, though it isn't. As soon as the features appear, there, your brain refuses to see it as hollow, simply because it is so unlikely. And this demonstrates the immense power of top-down knowledge, which will actually counter signals bottom up from the senses and force an extraordinary illusion in which the sensory information of the present is cancelled by immense knowledge derived from the past because you've seen so many faces all with their noses sticking out. So it's just impossible to see that as correctly hollow.